Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here, and uh, I'm playing some Xbox One Black Ops 3 beta, as you can see. There's a little Xbox One controller there on the screen. And I'm level 38, so that means I can use the Ghost perk. I also have Fast Hands and Tactical Mask, and I am using the Man of War. Uh, once the Razorback got nerfed, I have started using this gun like crazy, because I found out it's really good, especially when you get this attachment called, I think it was High Caliber. And it basically makes it so you have a headshot multiplier, and every time you get one headshot, you can get like a body shot or even shoot him in the foot. And I believe they would die pretty much anywhere on the map, no matter what range they're at. Uh, you can just pretty much take him out. And that made this gun so much better for me once I got like all of those. Since I was only using three perks and I was using, I think, three or four attachments along with a red dot sight. Which I think I took away and switched it out for like a silencer or something like that in the end. Uh, but yeah, anyway. I play this game on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. I was privileged enough to do so. I wanted to kind of compare all three of them and give you my opinion on which one's the best, I guess. I want to start off and say that I think PS4 is probably the best choice for the beta, not for the full game. Nobody knows what the full game is going to be like, obviously, since it was just the beta and it's just speculation on my part and opinions for now. The PS4 just seemed like it was a lot. The graphics just seemed like they were a little better, and also, well, I was playing on a, a different TV, but a uh, friend, Wicked Dragon, also played on PS4 and Xbox One and PC, and he uh, said that he was playing on the same monitor, and he played on PS4 and Xbox One, and the game did look a little dumbed down on Xbox One versus PS4, so there's that, and I believe the hit detection was a little bit off on Xbox One, also the server issues in the beginning kind of made me not like it as much, uh, but... Towards the end, I think they fixed most of that, but it still felt like a little bit better on PS4 most of the time. Like, it felt like I was playing on dedicated servers. Maybe that's true, maybe, I don't know. I haven't heard anything against it or that goes with it, but I'm thinking that they possibly had dedicated servers since PS4 has the exclusivity on that. So that could be the case. I might be wrong, could be right, I don't know. But it just felt a little bit better than Xbox One. Other than that, the games are pretty similar. You don't have to go out and like buy a PS4 if you don't have one just for this game. For PC though, I could not, I don't know about anybody else if they played it, but I could not play it on PC unless I had like this, this new thing called screen resolution ratio. It like did something with the way your 3D rendering worked. And if you turn that all the way down, you couldn't see a thing. It was just like a blurred out picture basically, for me at least. I don't know if it was something that I had wrong with my settings. But it was really weird, and once I turned that up, it just lagged the game out really bad. And I have a pretty decent computer, so I don't know why that would work. Like, I have a NVIDIA GTX 970, and I have a pretty like high-spec computer, and it couldn't handle this game, which is kind of weird. So it might have just been optimized or even ported wrong. I'm not sure if PC got the port this year instead of... They made it for PC and then just ported it for Xbox One and all the other consoles. I just don't know what was going on with that, because like, I couldn't get the game to work on PC. It just, like, I had to have it capped at 60 frames per second, and then when I didn't, I turned that screen resolution ratio up, and it would just lag the game out so I couldn't play it too much. So I probably only played about three hours of PC, or maybe two hours, and I played, I think, 27 hours of Xbox One, and then I think... 17 hours of PS4 just because I had a lot of uh, a lot of work during that week and I just didn't have a lot of time to play the game which is kind of sad but uh, I also like I didn't even play PS4 until this game until the beta came out so it was kind of like me learning to use the PS4 controller and everything like that and I actually really liked the touchpad how they use that you can bring up the scoreboard with that instead of having like this small button like you have on the Xbox One. It's just like an easy, like, pull up the scoreboard without looking at the controller, well, even though I don't look at the controller, but, like, just that little button on the Xbox One controller is just, like, really, it's weird to get to sometimes, and I don't know. That was just, like, a little tiny plus that I saw in the PS4 controller, which I liked. If you guys want to know, like, what specialist classes are, I guess, the best, I would say... I always go with the passive ones. Instead of going with aggressive, uh, like, the Annihilator or Sparrow or anything like that, I always went with like Vision Pulse or Combat Focus, which Vision Pulse made you like see through walls and stuff and only for about like 5 seconds. And then Combat Focus, you could have basically like double XP and you can get your score streaks faster, which I loved because then I could use like wraps or I tried using Mothership and I got that a few times. 
and that was pretty fun. Uh, I didn't use Rejack at all, because I used it once and I was like, eh, no, I don't like Last Stand, so I'm not going to be like that. <laughs> I don't know, because it kind of seemed like Last Stand for me all over again, just in a different way where they could like bring you back up. But everybody's saying that Last Stand, or that, not Last Stand, that Rejack was like overpowered to the point where people like were getting frustrated. And every now and then I will say that I did get frustrated, but... For the most part, I could just like watch them when there's smoke on the ground. I felt like at first I thought they were like using that glitch specialist uh, thing, which I, I used that a little bit, not too much, but enough to like know what it's all about, and it's kind of cool, I guess. But I just didn't find it too beneficial to my playstyle. Every time that somebody was like going in rejack or like using that, if you have thermite or something, you can just throw that at the ground and just like have them pretty much die like as soon as they get back up. So that was kind of cool that I found out. I would just basically lay down or like go behind them and then start shooting them as soon as they get up from that. So it, that always worked out for me. So I never really got frustrated towards the people that use rejack. And some of the other specialist classes that I used were the Spectre and then the Reaper kind of use that like that machine gun that like transforms his arm into a machine gun is it was like pretty cool and stuff but I didn't really like that as much as I like the Sparrow or the Annihilator from the uh, Seraph and the Outrider I think it is I used the Spectre the guy that like he can basically his passive specialist ability is to like disappear he can become completely invisible to the other team for like four seconds and if you start shooting then it goes away but like i always use that like on domination i would go behind like the entire enemy team like i'd find the group of them on the uav i'd go behind them and then i'd like i'd stop using that and start shooting them all in the back and it just worked out so well in my favor pretty much every time that i tried it and there were a couple times where I just like the invisibility wore off and I was just like right in front of somebody. Another thing that was like funny that you could do with that, you could like go in front of somebody as you're invisible and then they would just like be so confused like what did I just run into? Like a ghost? What is this? Like it was, it was just pretty funny to, to use every now and then. But then uh, pretty much the last passive specialist ability that I used was from the Reaper. The one where like you have three clones. And then you have yourself, obviously, and you all turn blue. The only way to really figure out which one the real person is, is just, like, see which one's going off of the course that they're set on. Like, all the clones are set on this, like, one track course. Like, they go straight ahead, basically. And if you see somebody, like, going off onto something else, like, on a different path, then you can find out that way. But other than that, like, if they're not shooting at you, then you really can't tell, so it's kind of difficult. So that one's a little bit weird, and I need to, I want to use that a little bit more and try it out. Other than that, I just used those classes, and I kind of, like, messed around with the Nomad, like, the guy with the hive gun, and then he has, like, those bees that you can set down, which is kind of cool. But then it made me feel like I had to camp in this area just so I can get all those kills, so I didn't really like it that much. And I didn't really use his other, the reject, like I said. It was pretty balanced out for the most part. There's a pistol that's really overpowered that's kind of like the Rafika from MW2. And then there's also, uh, the, well, the Razorback, but that's old news now because that's nerfed. I'm thinking that the Man of War needs a little bit of a nerf and obviously the Black Cat. I said that in the last video. That's about it, really. There's not too much else. Grenades seem overpowered. They're kind of like COD 4 grenades, but the way they balance that out is because the you can't throw grenades as far as you could in the previous Call of Duty games. The comparisons throughout the three PC, PS4, and Xbox One, I honestly think PS4, unless I can get like the PC version to work better when the game actually comes out, if I end up getting the PC version or finding somebody who has it and lets me borrow it, I'm definitely going to play that a lot because I love playing Black Ops 2, well, if it's optimized to the point where I can actually play it to uh, how I want to play it. Like I. I play Black Ops 2 occasionally, and I always run it at like 200 frames per second because I think it caps out around around 200 or 210. I always play that, and it just I like that it's like buttery smooth feel of PC. Just it felt so much smoother than Xbox One and PS4 to the point where it was like a different game for me. Like I wouldn't play Xbox 360 Black Ops 2 anymore, but I would definitely play PC and keep playing that over and over because there's just some like awesome feeling I get from playing that on mouse and keyboard when I never play on PC or like play PC games at all for the most part. There's just something that I get that's so satisfying from that instead of uh, playing from Xbox or PS4. Anyways, uh, I think the game should be wrapping up here in uh, just a second. And uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, click the like button. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more content. I should be posting another video or two here shortly. In the next couple days or so, I got a bunch of gameplay from Xbox One. 
since I could actually record it with the Elgato and stuff. So I should be back soon. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And take it easy. See ya.